right, it's a plant pot. What's the plant pot? Hannah, what are you doing? This is the current situation, guys. Good morning. We've got a sleepy husband at 9 a.m. on the sofa. You're looking at things outside. Shut up, Justin. See if you can spot some rabbits and squirrels. Yeah. Who are you waggling your finger at? Squirrel. All right. Okay. I'm going to put some squirrels at the. Did you just smile in your sleep? Oh dear. Oh dear. It's a nappy. Oh dear, it's a nappy. <laughs> I have been obsessed with these coffees lately, guys. I've been obsessed with them in previous times of my life, but recently I've just been wanting, wanting cold coffees in the morning, so I've been getting these from the local Tesco, you know. I popped it. Yeah, it wasn't me, you popped it. Yeah. Remember? No, you not popped it. No, you popped it. I popped it. You yeah. did, yes. I popped it. You popped the balloon, and now you're looking for the balloon. Well, I hate to break it to you, but it's popped. I'm looking at blue. Yeah, exactly. Blue, where are you? <laughs> Hello! Blue, where are you? Oh, Hannah, you found me. I've been popped. I'm in many places in the house because you popped me. Don't you remember? Blue, where are you? <laughs> right, grapes are ready. What do you say? You. By the way, guys, little update on my room. I moved the desk to this wall like I told you I would. I still need to kind of organize this desk though, like stationery and computer and all that. And then we moved the vanity area. I think that makes a lot more sense because it's all the same furniture, so it all just kind of fits, right? Anyway, and then I just laid out some of my rugs any old how because I literally can't figure it out just now. This section here is going to be like, um, I don't know yet, but I'm going to put some things up on display like the YouTube stuff, maybe get an armchair, I don't know, it's a bit messy. And then those boxes are to be chucked out. These two boxes are posts that I got actually months ago and I haven't opened and I've got some more in the car, so maybe I'll open that on camera for you guys today. Oh, we also put up this mirror over here. Anyway, I'm going to get dressed now. We're going to take Hannah to nursery and then we're going to get some chores done. I realised you haven't actually seen me today. You'll see me in a minute. Ready! This jacket I've had for maybe like three years and it's not ironed, but like, I think I'm just going to try and get away with it. We're finally in the car. Hannah had a little accident this morning. Her thumb got jammed in the door and it was horrific. You okay now, aren't you, Hannah? It didn't break off, alhamdulillah. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Why did you say it's horrific? It was horrific because it's the first time in two years she's ever got her fingers jammed. That's why. You okay now, Hannah? Yeah. You are, aren't you? You're, so, you're such a brave girl. You're going to tell all your friends all about it? Sid, how do you feel being the parent that was the cause of the first finger jam of our child in two years? I expected it to happen. What do you mean you expected it to happen? Well, you knew you were doing it, what the flip? I knew if it was anyone who would do it, it'd be me. Oh right, you knew you'd be the first. Yeah. <laughs> but Sid, Sid felt so guilty, he was there giving her cuddles and that. <laughs> of course I felt guilty, did you hear her? Like she just screamed her head off, I didn't know what happened. Yeah, you were like, what's the matter, love? And I was like, I know, and then I saw her little, her little thumb in the yeah. door. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Um, finger jams aren't that bad though. We promised Hannah that we we're going to buy her present today. Aren't we? Yo, she's past caring right now. She's like, shut up, you two. Guys. We dropped Hannah off to nursery and we've been driving around for literally like an hour looking for a recycling place. Right, we just stopped at Tesco to get a munch. I'm gonna have prawn mayo sandwich. Sid's having a wrap. Basically, where are we going, Sid? Ikea! <laughs> Again, because Sid has figured out what he's gonna do in his office for his desk space, so he needs to go pick up that stuff, basically. And then I think we need to go to Toys R Us to get Hannah the present that we promised her. But actually, I wanted to get her a tablet for her age anyway, so that she can have like games and stuff to play that is like hopefully a bit more educational than just watching CBBS all the time. Mm. I do have a good prawn mayo sandwich, you said? Yeah, prawn mayo is fantastic. It's my 
bad how the uh, Welsh Saxons rubbed off on me already. Stop doing, stop doing that shit. It's crazy, I've only been here a week like. Huh? He did bought himself like a Snickers pack, you know, the double ones. And I just spent the last two minutes convincing him that. Two whole minutes! Two whole minutes convincing him that when he showed it to me in the shop, I was like, yeah, get it. Because obviously I meant like I want the second half. And in the end he gave it to me. And I was like, oh, I lied! Ah! Anyway, now he wants a bite, so I've marked up to where he can have a bite. <laughs> right here and I was just thinking who remembers doing that when they had to share with their siblings They're like give me some give me some you're like yeah you can have that much I, I would keep my finger on it and let them bite up until my finger it's terrible isn't it? oh uh, that bite was for you I got living nuts stuck in my throat you got nuts in your throat <laughs> guys they didn't have any tablets left but then I came across this caterpillar She's gone down to 20 quid. She's gonna forget about any laptop tablets when I show her this. Sid's got his stuff. Yes, you do. It's there. Hannah, tell everybody about your new caterpillar. What's his name? Mr. Wiggly. You called him Mr. Wiggly? Come back. He looks upside down. No, he's not upside down. He is, look. Yes. This is him the right way. Now you can see his face and his body, kind of. Do you want to count how many legs he's got? Should we count them together? Yeah. Go on then, you start. You start. Okay, one, I'll two, start. three. Oh, he's got pink. Pink legs, he does. You got my face. He's, he's upside down. Yeah. Yes, I show you he's upside down. He is upside down. We're home guys, um, we are going to basically do the bedtime routine, get this one straight to bed and then I'm going to open up some packages for you guys so on, see you in a minute. Come on Mr Wiggly, Hannah should we take him upstairs? Look what Hannah made today in nursery, a beautiful necklace. It's beautiful Hannah. I already told her, she ain't listening. What are you doing now? I'm going home. You are home? No, no. Guys, I got Hannah these wellies for six pounds in the sale from Mother hey. Care. What? Hey! What? My wellies back. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. That's my wellies. Sorry, darling. Sorry. You literally gave me the hay. Don't mess with Hannah. Wagwan, laddies. I've got my IKEA throw on my head for a scarf. Anyway, last night I was supposed to get back to you on um, on the evening and open up a few packages for you. But what happened is I fell asleep and actually I'm lying. That wasn't even last night, it was two nights ago. But now we're in the morning of Tuesday. Sorry, lying again. We are currently morning of Wednesday the 10th of January. I'm gonna open up some packages for you. These are packages I've had from my mailbox for about two months maybe. Maybe a bit less than two months, I'm not sure. And there's a bunch of other packages from our mailbox in London that we have to pick up and then finally close because obviously we're not in London anymore. Don't send anything if you did want to send anything to any mailbox address that you might come across now because I'm likely not gonna get it or I'm not gonna get it for ages and just stay tuned for an update on a new Cardiff mailbox address. This is probably stuff from a lot of small businesses. I don't think it's any PR packages, so makeup and stuff like that. Let's get started. We've got some lashes, well that's good because I'd kind of run out. Beauty brand offering cruelty free vegan eyelashes. Thank you City Lashes. Their Instagram is city underscore underscore lashes I think. Oh look at those fluffy ones. This is jewellery. Egyptian bracelet. They're quite nice them. Dainty little things. We have two necklaces. Two dainty necklaces. Hopefully you guys can see. Business Instagram is jewellery by JM. Oh we have what looks like a book. Oh, colouring book. I love colouring books. That's going to go up in my office. Vibrant Soul by Rosine Afsar. Colouring inspired by Rumi. Inky Art by Rosine. She has an Etsy shop too. Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Inky Art by Rosine. Those are the details, lads. What you seek is seeking you. Oh, I love colouring. Something from Dean Explorers. And it looks like a jumper for Hannah Bear. Nice hoodie for Hannah. It says her name in Arabic. That actually doesn't say her name. That actually says... Henet, which is a totally different name in general, but it's still cute and she's still gonna wear it. But I was planning on spelling Hannah's name in Arabic um, 
here, noon, with an elif on the end, but no, no hamza, because that makes it hene. Uh, thank you guys, she can wear that tomorrow actually to nursery. Why not? Please find a complimentary book of mine, which is available on Amazon and Kindle. The second part of, to this book is also out too. My Happily Ever After by F.R. Manaz. Aisha Chaudhry has started a new life with her daughter Amira in Blue Keat, a small community. She has a past which she has kept hidden for a long time, but she finally opens up about it, hoping she can help other women in the community. Aisha thought her past was well and truly done, but but it seems as though it is making its way into her present life. Will she be able to face her past and face her fears and find happiness once again, or will she run away? Should we do a bit of story time, guys? Okay, you know what I really wanted to review on my channel? Kids books, I really wanted to review kids books. Yes, let me know if you want to see that. Anyway, chapter one. I stand in front of the mirror and look back at the scared reflection. Why am I even doing this? I whisper to myself. Why am I even doing this? Today I will be giving a talk at the community center, and I don't really know why I agreed now, I don't usually get so nervous, but I'm shaking inside. That's the book, guys. Check it out. Oh, it looks like we have t-shirts. I've created Blue Valley Apparel, brand to inspire love, diversity, and equality through the art of design. Those are the deets. Oh, a tote bag. A tote bag? Oh, a cushion cover! Love it! I need to go buy a cushion from Ikea now. God damn it. That's nice. That can go literally right behind me on the sofa. That's lovely. Extra large, nice. Also nice and big. Oh, very nice. I do like it. I think me and Sid will wear those. Oh, this is long sleeved. Oh, I like how big they are. Very nice. Thank you, guys. The Doe Parlor. Website, doeparlor.com. Preschool teacher, mama four, including five-year-old Hannah. Haha. <laughs> I wanted to find alternatives to store-bought China factory made Play-Doh, especially since my kids always put it in their mouths. So I started to make homemade Play-Doh from scratch since well forever. Our Play-Doh is fresh and handmade from 100% safe food grade ingredients because it's water-based. It also completely washable. It even comes out of carpet with a little warm water. Our dough is also rehydratable, so if Hannah leaves it out overnight, just add a couple of drops of warm water and massage the dough. Oh, that's great, because she always dries up her Play-Doh. That's the strawberry one. Oh, oh my God, it's really strawberry. Oh, I just want to eat it. That's the Play-Doh. Mint chocolate. Ooh, bubblegum flavor. Oh, she's just going to want to eat this. Oh, oh. Ooh, cotton candy. Lovely, what a great idea. Oh, very nice. So we've got another two things over here, guys. I can't remember if I ordered them or if they were sent, but let's open up, shall we? So we've got this brass pyramid. I think Sid might have ordered these, actually. Potentially for our old house to hang some plants in. Maybe I can put them up in my bathroom with some plants. That would be nice. Dina's Eye Beauty Besties, what? Okay, I didn't order this, so this, this was sent, but I have no idea what it is. Oh, this is from Ilaw. This is a PR package, guys. God, I love Ilaw. Is that how you say it? I don't even know. No way! Their 70th birthday, that is a long time. In here, we have a bunch of eye products, OVS. We've got brow pomade, fabulous. We've got brow contour. Pouch over here is everything brows. Brow tame and define wax. Brow magician. Pencil. Brow luminizer. Ooh, brow amplifier. Oh, I love brushes like that for brows. Another flare de force. Brow pen. I literally rinsed, or oh, I used every single pen till it was finished. That is the one eyebrow product that I've used till it's done. We've got some eyelashes. Ops. Very nice. Basically, the rest is a bunch of eyelashes, guys. Lucky me! I guess I saved the best till last. Thank you, Eyelaw. I'll do these videos regularly. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on me next vlog. Alright? Till next time. Ta-da! Did I tell you about this mirror? Look. With the bulbs. It's from Reflections. I'll get their Instagram and put it in the description if I remember. Um... But it's missing two light bulbs, so I need to go uh, and get them off Amazon or something. But the light is so bright, it's bloody great. Anyway, my lips, obviously, as you know, are really chat. I've been using this Esper Nourishing lip, lip Treatment. I need a new camera because this focusing time is a joke. It has been helping. Not as much as I would like, but it has been helping a little bit. Like, as you guys can see, my lips are have definitely improved since my first vlog. Like you can see they've improved, but really painful and chapped. Anyway, 